say I have a function called note list. Just a function. This is just JavaScript. And I have a function called app. Just JavaScript. Now say inside app, I have a variable called meals. It's an array with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I want to pass that to note list. What can I do? I can call note list and pass meals in as an argument, right? Inside note list, I accept an argument. I'm going to call it my next uh, eh, tomorrow's meals. And I'll print that out. Alert tomorrow's meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my face. But I called it meals here. Doesn't matter, right? Up here in my argument list, I can call this whatever I want. And that's just going to be the local variable that I used to refer to it inside note list, right? Doesn't matter that it was called something else down here where we invoked it. Let's uncomment this to prove it. So let's call app. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, the array. Cool. Suppose this were an object. Product placement, they paid me so much for this. Lunch, Hormel, Spam, Dinner, uh, yeah, whatever, Spaghetti. And I pass meals in. And I want to alert whatever I'm having for lunch. So I can say tomorrow's meals dot lunch, right? No problem. Hormel spam. It doesn't matter that we call this tomorrow's meals here and meals here. Heck, I could call note list manually, skipping over app, and just put in an object literal, right? Lunch, twamages, twamages. doesn't matter that it was called meals here, and it doesn't matter that it wasn't called anything here. It was just an object. It's just an argument. No big deal. Dave, this is a waste of time. Waste of time. Why are you talking about this? We know this. Let's pretend that instead, this variable were called Mm. This dot props dot meals, and we pass in this dot props, and we call this props here. 
and we say alert props. Yeah, I'll say this dot props dot. Yes. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. No, let's call it this dot state dot meals. And we'll pass in. Where's my cursor? This dot state dot meals. And up here, we'll call our argument props. And I say alert props dot lunch. Now well, this dot state probably ought to be a thing first. There you go. Hormel spam. Right? We just created an object. We put this meals key in there. Hormel spam. I just made up an object and called it this.state. And I just gave it a key called meals. And I just passed that object in as the argument. I didn't change anything in note list except that I happened to rename this variable. But if I'd called it meals, meals.lunch, it still works. Right? It's just an argument. We can name it whatever we want on this side. Doesn't matter what it was called over here. Doesn't matter when it was just called a variable named meals or a property of another object called meals. I just pass that object in and it ends up over there. Make sense? Nothing so special about naming it state and naming it props. So if we were doing it this way, just passing from one function to another, is that clear? Is it clear how it can be called one thing one place and something else somewhere else? We could have called this variable whatever the heck we wanted. Could have said const sum obj and pass in sum obj dot meals. Same thing. I just happened to be cute and call it this dot state. But I'm just passing arguments to functions. Doesn't matter that it was called this.state on this side and props or anything else on the other side. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense as an illustration of what we're trying to do with React. 